Okay, I selected her because of the bright yellow shirt and it would look really good on a black and white background. So we're going to use the freehand select. I have it on Edge Seeker and on Add. And then you just go around. And then you right click to make it go all together. And then we're going to hit edit, cut, close that, open, edit, paste as a new layer. And then we will move her to the middle somewhat. And then I'm going to open my stars, edit, cut, edit, paste as a new layer, and we want it in between those two layers, and we also want it bigger. Okay, now we're going to go back to her, erase, I have it on 14, 30 harshness. We're going to move it up a little bit to 20 just so we can erase some of the background that was left. And if you happen to take out a piece of something that you need, just right click and put it back. And now I'm going to shrink the size of my eraser so I can get in the smaller spots. And we're not going to get it perfect because we're just doing this for information only. And then we'll go to the freehand select again. And we're going to freehand. And we're right clicking just to activate the palette. Okay, once you've got everything selected that you need selected, go over here to our picture, right click and promote to a different layer. Then click back on her, control D.
and then we are going to stay on her and I want to add noise removal to make it soft make her nice and soft seam and then effects photo effects black and white and you see and then if there's any little spots that you want to go back and check on real quick see how that is you could always go to the clone and right click here and clone over this although I'm not going to sit here and do all this right now but anyways so there's your bright yellow shirt there's your black and white girl now for the background we have opened a couple of palettes there so those palettes will now be in our patterns and we're just going to take those palettes I actually need to add one more palette so we'll just go with color we'll go with this yellow color and then we're going to go to pour and we'll go every third one or so We'll go with that one. And then we'll go with this one. We'll go with this one. Ta da! And then we are going to right click, merge, merge all visible, and then we're going to add a you can either add a picture frame to where it's going to be like something like this or you can add a mask which will be you know depending on the mask you use to be something like that but I'm going to go with the picture frame and we'll go with the stars just because it looks all retro and then I don't like it quite that big so I'm just going to select a little bit around that there we go and then right click again merge all flat and then you can add your watermark and I always go with black my watermark there we go and we are finished